Good morning, Titans. Today is August 28th, 2024, and you're watching Oli TV. Attention all freshmen, the counselors are hosting a parent orientation tomorrow on Thursday, August 29th from 6 to 8 p.m. in the auditorium. They will be holding information sessions on all things related to Olympus High School. Please invite your parents to attend. The Counseling Center uh, has more details. Hey Titans, for all of our freshmen out there, you have a chance at be being a class officer for this school year. If you want a shot at being one at being one, head on down to room 261 next Tuesday at 2.15 for the meeting and to grab your candidate packet. The open roles are president, vice president, two Titans elevated class coordinators, and three senators. Remember, you need to attend the meeting to run. Any questions will be answered by Ms. Kennington in the Ox Gym after school. To stay updated on weekly events, check out the Oli Events Weekly poster in the south entrance of the Commons. You can also check out the new weekly Canvas calendar, Titan Weekly, or the Stall Street Journal in the bathroom. Now on to sports with Cade. Okay. Um, last Friday's game was a nice bounce back win after the Titans falter against, the Sp against Spanish Fork. With 45 seconds left in the first half, Olympus was down 13 to 10. But Nate Sheets had two huge back-to-back -back plays, scoring off a blocked punt and a pick and a pick six to give Olympus a double-digit lead of 23 to 13 into the half into the second half. Uh, Olympus never let off the gas, scoring two more passing touchdowns in the second half with Tommy Nelson and huge Matsumori. Our defense was relentless in coming out of the second half as well, not letting Provo sniff another score in, in the second in the second half. Now. Enter into the world of motorsports, the Dutch Grand Prix happened on Sunday, where Lando Norris passed Drivers' Championship leader Max Verstappen during lap 17 on turn one straight at a speed of around 206 miles per hour. And since then, his lead grew with Lando Norris winning with a lead of 22.9 seconds in front of Max Verstappen and being 25.4 seconds in front of second in front of third place leader Leclerc. Leclerc. Lando was able to was also able to lap 12 other drivers so everyone up to ninth place was passed by him Oli the olympus mountain biking team had their first race on saturday in in Man monty uh, all although the trail and weather conditions were not great the team members didn't did great with 21 top finish top 10 finishers this includes high school and junior devo racers in in junior devo racers intermediate eighth grade boy Cole Chipping in seventh place, uh, intermediate girls Jane Brown in seventh place, beginning girls Sarah Linscott in eighth place, JVA boy Spencer May in eighth place, JVA girls Haley Flower in tenth place, and, a and Ava Anderson in fourth place, varsity girls Cena Peterson in first place, and Stella Gilspin in second place. On the freshman B team, Jace Claridge in first place, and in, in the SIL boys team, Preston Harrison in first and Connor Bench in third place. Now back to our news desk with Caleb. Thanks, Cade. Now let's head on over to weather with Will. Good morning, Titans. This week we start off with a high of 87 and a low of 56 on Wednesday. And then we continue into a high of 84 and a low of 58 on Thursday. On Friday, we have a high of 89 and a low of 63. On Sat um, those are all sunny, by the way. On Saturday, we have a high of 90 and a low of 64, and it's partly cloudy. Sunday, we have a high of 92 and a low of 67, and it's also partly cloudy. And then um, on Monday, we have a high of 92 and a low of 68, and it's partly cloudy. And then back on over to Tuesday, it's a high of 89 and a low of 65, and it's mostly sunny. 
as well. And thank you for watching. Subscribe to Oli TV and follow our Instagram. Have a fantastic day, Titans. Uh, 75 degrees. At this time, the seatbelt sign is active.